Hey guys, this is Kelsey from Sweetbriar Farm. We wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Tamworth pigs and uh, what makes them special and why uh, they're so successful on our farm. And one of the attractive things about Tamworth pigs is when you read about them, um, if you're breeding, one of the characteristics is that they're supposed to be excellent mothers, which we have observed that, mm -hmm. um, and actually very protective mothers, at least one of ours is as well. <laughs> but they're also known to be the bacon breed, um, which basically means that they should be long and lean as they, they get old, older. Um, I thought that was counterintuitive, that a bacon pig was a lean pig. But it's true. The alternative is a lard pig, like a mangalitsa, where they're shorter bodied but thicker and they have a heavy layer of leaf lard. Well, if we look at our breeding pigs, we can kind of see the difference between a more, I guess you would say, commercial pig, which would be a Hereford. And it's kind of hard to tell because they're pregnant, but she's got a nice round. <laughs> shape to her <laughs> and she's wide where is our tamworth guilt uh, not guilt sow let me go around in, in the pen she's gonna be longer and leaner so if you want more if you want more bacon out of a tamworth really the best thing to do would be to raise them out longer i mean i would go out to even a year before i would process them because they do remain lean so these two are sisters. She only had three viable piglets, so she didn't lose as much weight after her farrowing. But she had what, 12 or 13? I think 13, yeah. But you can see how she's longer, leaner. Boris, our Tamworth four, he's nice and tall, so he can breed, get up on the girls real easy. This nice long legs, but you can see how lean he is as well. But he's probably, I don't know, a good five foot from yeah. tip to rump. And he's probably about 650, I would say, 650 pounds. Yeah. Now looking at Sally or Hereford, she's a lot wider than the Tamworths, and she's not as long. She's actually, what, probably a couple months older than the Tamworths. Yeah. But she's not Hopefully as long. Be a better comparison. She's not pregnant, but she's still a lot thicker, heavier. Who, Oprah? Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's a Berkshire. She, we have not had any luck getting her pregnant. I don't know what is wrong with her. But uh, she's not going to stay on the farm because we don't need 600 pound pets. So that's uh, one of the attractive things that we we liked when we read about Tamworths is that well we, everybody likes bacon so we'll get a bake the bacon breed the original bacon breed. Now, like I, I'll give some comparisons of the offspring. The Hereford Cross with the Tamworth and the Pure Tamworth, they're all the same age. They're, the Tamworths are smaller, um, but they're, I mean, the, the length, they're about the same. I think so. So. I bet if we kept them um, to a year, you'd see differences. Yeah. Now there, there is a cutoff to when you would want to no longer have regular cuts from a Tamworth. Yeah. Which we learned from our 800 pound sow, Tammy, our first one. Yeah. Our biggest, one of the biggest farm mistakes we've made. Well, I guess she would be the biggest. She's the biggest, yeah. But uh, she was tough. Four or five years old. The bacon was, was tough. It was not, not worth regular cuts. She would have been good as all sausage. All sausage, or yeah. Pork. But even this Berkshire, when she goes to the butcher, she's, she'll be a year and a half. And, uh, I don't know, we'll probably do regular cuts for the most part, and then a lot of sausage and ground pork. 
but she she's about two weeks out from barreling. A little bit. Well, no, wait, no, what is today? About well, three weeks. You can see the teat line starting to develop. Sally's should feral first. We saw her get bred first. Her teat line's developing. But we are going to double down on our Herefords. We're going to get two more breeding guilds. Just because they're so gentle natured. She's. She was a really good mom. And then, uh. We're gonna try and get some more Berkshire gilts too. Yeah, we talked about maybe getting selling for us, but he's such a good boy and we're gonna keep him. A lot of people are looking for breeding stock, like just breeding pairs of pigs, so that's why we, we have uh, our Berkshire boar. We're gonna be able to offer, you know, Unrelated breeding stock, where you could cross a Hereford and a Berkshire. Or I think Boris is a treasure because he's so well behaved. He's respectful, and he does his job well. All his piglets have been healthy and active, and I uh, I'm not nervous about being in the pen with him. When we've had to vaccinate the pigs, we just feed them, and I walk up next to him and give him their shots, and. He didn't even flinch. I feel like in a boar, that's a real yeah, you valuable trait. You, you, you hear people talk about how they had them running through fences and well, so being many wild. Well, do AI too for a reason, I think. I think we got lucky getting such a good boar right off the bat. I don't want to give him up. He hops right on a trailer. Yep, we loaned him out to some friends to breed their pigs. And been a good, good, good boy. But we're working on Pig City. Pig City's gonna be over here. The redneck electric setup. Yeah. So overall, I think the main thing why why Tamworths are called the, you know ba the original bacon breed is because they stay leaner and they get l long as they mature. So if you want more bacon out of a Tamworth, raise them out longer. So seven months last year, our group averaged 220 pound hanging weight. The bacon is it's, yeah, it's lean. It's di it's different than the Hereford. There's definitely differences in in, in the bacon. They're both good, but um, you can check that video. I'll put that in the description. But overall, like you, um, at this point, they're all pretty much the same size. The Hereford Cross are going to be a little bit, they're going to weigh more, but. Yeah. Do you, do you think for our next batch of feeder pigs, will we raise our Tamworths longer than the standard we've been doing? We've been doing, what, like six, six seven to months? Six, seven months. Maybe we should keep one Tamworth for 10 months. Yeah, I guess I'm more interested in trying the Berkshire and yeah. having a Hereford to ourselves. But, but at, at seven months at 220 pounds tank weight, you get a lot. I mean, most, most people, if, it's, if you're going to raise a Tamworth on your homestead for yourself, yeah, raise them out longer. But if you're selling and marketing them to customers, I wouldn't personally raise them longer. Come on. Come on. Stand up. Everybody out. Come on. Here you can see the long, lean nature of the Tamworth pig. Now there's one in here that's pretty big. These are actually a, 
Tamworth Hereford Cross, and they have more of a Hereford characteristic. You see our Berkshire boar here. He's nice, long, and lean. But we're our breeding gilt. She's more of a meat line rather than I think he's out of show show pig genetics. So she's a little bit chunkier. Well, she's a little bit older too. But the uh, Tamworth and the Tamworth cross, they're all, the Tamworth are a week younger. Don't oh, bite me. Right here, side by side, this Tamworth, leaner, this one's a little bit chubbier. But these uh, Tamworths and the crosses, they're going to butcher this Wednesday, so in a few days. I imagine he'll be right around 200 pounds hanging. Some of these Tamworths will be a little bit less. But part of the process of getting these guys ready to go to the butcher is backing the trailer up and actually feeding them inside the trailer for a few days. And then usually they'll come right in. Because they think there's food in here. We'll see if anybody comes up. No, she's not going. The Harpo or Berkshire guilt. She's not going. And Stedman's not going. I just got to move over with these guys because with the warm up and then rain and everything we had their pen turned into a muddy mess not to say that this pen isn't a muddy mess yeah there's no food in here right now all right so that's just a little bit about our tamworth operation here Bye for now. Thanks for watching, guys.